How many of you have not felt like yourself during COVID-19? <laughs> I'm raising my hand too. Uh, this is a weird time. It's a strange time, guys. And I ask that because as I see patients in the office through telemedicine, I'm a family doctor, it's really hit me just how much this pandemic has hit all of us. Um, how many of you can relate to this? Maybe you felt like you're not sleeping right, whether that's you're not sleeping much at all, maybe because your mind is racing or you just toss and turn at night, or maybe uh, you just want to sleep all day and you don't even want to get up in the morning. Uh, what about motivation? How do you feel? Do you feel like yourself? I mean, I hope that you feel like yourself, but you might feel unmotivated. Certainly some of my patients feel that way where they just don't feel like getting to that to-do list. I have some patients that feel like their mind is racing all the time or that they're always worrying. You know, maybe you've lost your job or you know someone that has or a family member has. Maybe um, you've gotten sick with COVID or you have family members that have or you're afraid of getting sick with COVID. This is something I've seen a lot. Maybe you're almost paralyzed by fear uh, from getting sick from COVID. Has your appetite changed? Are you eating more mindless eating or are you eating less? Are you drinking more than you normally would be? Are you not exercising? Um, are you, I mean, how are you functioning? How are your relationships? Are you irritable? Um, are, are, you, are you snappy with your family? How are you feeling during this time? Write in the comments, what's going on? But, but the main reason for me talking to you today is not only to get a pulse and a read on how you're doing, I also wanna tell you it's okay to get help. A lot of the patients I've seen in the last six, eight, 10 weeks, I've seen so much anxiety and depression, um, a lot due to this pandemic because people have lost their jobs, they've gotten sick, they're worried about getting sick or just the state of uncertainty that we're living in. But the other thing I've heard from my patients is that they have been afraid to talk about this. Maybe they have always had a little bit of anxiety or depression, but have always been able to kick it. It's never been a problem, but all of a sudden now, they don't feel like they're able to cope as well. Maybe they feel embarrassed, like they should be able to cope and are not able to, or whatever the situation may be. I'm doing this segment right now because I wanna give you permission to reach out for help. Whether you think you need a lot of it or not. Maybe you just need to talk to somebody. Maybe you need more than that, whatever it is. This is your time to call on your doctor, your loved ones, your friends, your family, to say, hey, look, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with this, or I, I kind of need to talk with someone about this or that. This is a rough time for us all. It's affected every single person on this planet. So if you feel some kind of way, as we say, you're not sleeping right, you're moody, you're irritable, you're crying, you're tearful, you're anxious, whatever the case is, first of all, you're not alone. But second of all, you deserve to have just as much support as anyone else. So if that's how you feel, please reach out to your doctor. If you're not ready to do that, that's fine. Reach out to a friend or a family member, but please reach out because I keep saying this, but you're not alone in this. I would also say that if you feel like you might hurt yourself or other people, please call 911 immediately. This is very important. It's very serious, okay? I want you to know, like, it's okay to feel the way you do. It's okay if you're struggling with this and you don't know what to do. If you don't know what, you don't wanna talk to anybody, totally fine, just call us call your doctor. Look after yourself, look after your loved ones. And uh, remember, um, we'll get through this. I promise. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, and I'll see you soon.